Hey everybody, Ann here. I've already let the bunnies out, so now I gotta go forage for them. I've let the chickens out. Um, I've let the puppies and Papa out for their morning romp, and the puppy's already back in. Papa's still out running around, so once I get him in, I'm gonna let the chickens to go out in free range. It's been raining, oh, since the middle of the night and all morning, but that's okay, because water. Anyhow, look at these babies. They've been hopping around. There's one more that's inside the hutch. I put some food and water inside the hutch last night, and they all got up on the little shelf there. Oh, look. There he is. And, um, you know, snuggled together. And, yep, they're tipping over their water. That's okay. I need to get it up there a little bit better. But they've been eating, drinking, pooping, just like cute bunnies should. So I've been kind of learning what they do and do not like to eat. And there is one weed that I've been picking up for them and they do not like to eat it. Stuff right here. They will leave it on the floor. They won't eat it. Um, it's not a dandelion. It's another kind of flower, but they just don't seem interested in it. But what they do love is this stuff. And I've got it all over the place. And they really, really love crabgrass. Oh, another thing they don't really seem to like to eat that's weird is dock. I pulled, put one dock leaf in and they didn't touch it. I already cut one big mound of this grass up. And now I'm going to cut all of this up and feed it to the bunnies. I think I got enough of it. My bowl is completely full. It's packed down in there. And this right here, I tell you what. I'm going to come back and get this for dinner because I'm going to make some tacos and this will make a nice, nice lettuce. Yummy. <laughs> Look at that. There's quite a bit of it, but by the end of the day, they will have that killed. Look at it. And I don't even need to cut them down smaller. They just love to gobble them up just like that. Wonderful. Papa's home. So be free. <laughs> they get to go see the bunnies. It's still raining just a little bit, but that won't bother them any. They'll find plenty of yummy worms. <laughs> and, or they'll go hide underneath the van. Let's see what they think of the rabbits. They're like, I want your food. <laughs> Look at that, they're checking out the rabbits. <laughs> they don't know what to think. See, they're eating some of the grass that fell on the ground. I can't wait to see how much of that big pile I gave them they eat. Oh, I need to take that straw out because it's all wet. Right on, all right. Get yourself some grub. Oh my gosh, it is still raining outside. I can't believe it. Well... I don't know. I don't know what else I'm going to do today. So what I've been doing is researching online on how to tan rabbit hides. I'm going to do that. Um, so I'm excited about that. And the rabbits that I have right now are seven weeks old. And through the research that I've done, um, New Zealand meat rabbits are ready to harvest at eight weeks old. So I could potentially harvest one of my rabbits in another week. I may wait a few more weeks because, I don't know, I just want to get used to how I need to do things and how to keep them alive and happy and comfortable. So, but uh, there is some rabbit stew in my future. I cannot wait. And I don't think I'm going to have any issues harvesting the rabbit. Um, I will never show me doing that. Um, no parts of that will I show. You can find them on another channel. There's plenty of information out there on how it's done. I'm going to be using the most humane way to do it. I'm not even going to describe it because it may be alarming to, to you, you know, those out there who just aren't comfortable with it. But, um, I'm kind of in the mindset of, uh, raising meat, raising chickens, raising rabbits in a humane way, not uh, piling them up in cages and just keeping them confined. I want them to have a happy life where they get to act like bunnies <laughs> or chickens, act like chickens. Um, although I can't harvest chickens, I'm, I'm only going to harvest my roosters. But I want the bunnies to live a good life and... Um, and then I will know where my meat comes from. You know, you go to the store 
and you you buy meat, you buy chicken, you buy beef or pork or whatever, and you don't really think about how they're harvested, how they're raised, what kinds of lives they had um, as they were being raised. And I really think that the way that I'm doing it is much more humane than keeping a bunch of chickens um, hundreds of thousands of chickens in little cages and they spend their whole life in there or, or bunnies in, in little cages um, or even cattle you know in the way that <laughs> I watched something on YouTube and it was very alarming um, how they put down a cow um, although the cow didn't suffer it's still just oh, you know, it's not something you want to think about but, you know, it is something that maybe we should think about. You know, the stuff you get in the store, they, those animals are not raised in the most humane way. They aren't. And um, it's a thankless process. Me, it's going to be different. Um, I'm going to thank them <laughs> and pray over them before I harvest each and every one of them. And, um, and not raise them under circumstances that are selfish or um, sometimes easy. You know, sometimes people want to just take the easy way out. The way that I'm doing things takes a little bit more work, but it's going to be worth it because I think the animals will be happier overall um, under my care than they would in a meat processing plant or farm or whatever. Um, so there's my little spiel on that. But anyhow, ugh, please, please let it stop raining. These bunnies are so sweet. Every time I come up to this gate here, they just come up to me. <laughs> they just want to be by me, I guess. I put some raspberry leaves down there, so I'm going to see if they're going to eat them. Oh, somebody's standing on top of one of them right now. Yep. They eat wild raspberry leaves. That is awesome. Because I have raspberry plants growing all over the place. Look at Oh, it's gobbling it right up. Oh, yes. Hello, sweet bunnies. Oh, yeah. Look at They've eaten quite a bit already. Finally stopped raining, so I'm going to go empty my little, my little wagon out because I'm expecting some deliveries. Something I ordered for myself online, just some boring stuff but I know that there's something that somebody sent me that's going to be coming today hopefully and I'm really excited about it look at they love that straw I put in there I am so glad that the things that I have in abundance around this homestead at least during this season and during the summer they're going to be able to eat. The big challenge is going to be during the winter when I don't have as much of this stuff around. But look at they just love it. And it looks like these water bowls are going to work out just fine. I have to change them more frequently because they tip them over and like to get into them. And What are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing, Crazy Rabbit? Oh, they're just delightful. And they also like plantain. And that grows in an abundance around here, too. I think I'm set, you guys. It's turned out to be kind of a peaceful day today. Finally stopped raining. The chickens are out getting some grub. Rabbits are doing great. Doggies are doing great. There's green stuff coming up all over the place. So there's only one thing left to do, and that's to go harvest that uh, dandelion greens down at the bottom of the street, and or the bottom of my property, and make some tacos. But you've seen me make tacos before, so it's no big deal. So that's what I'm going to do. Anyway, that's all I got for you guys today. See you in the next video. Thanks for watching everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and y'all have a good one.